Tech Tour on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Dow AgroSciences Canada, redefining herbicide performance so growers can spray when they need to. Sean Haney here with realagriculture.com, another episode of the Tech Tour. Today we are in Brandon at Ag Days, and we are joined right now by... Garnet Wallakahalawa. And uh, with what company? Capstan Ag Systems, Inc. Okay, and we're going to get in a little bit into some of the innovations that you've been working on and this, what you've been providing to farmers. But first of all, just I'll, we'll talk about what the Tech Tour is. So the Tech Tour is brought to you by Dowager Sciences Canada. And what we're doing is we're traveling across Western Canada to all the major farm shows. And uh, we're talking to different companies like yourselves that are creating new products, new innovations, to bring it to the marketplace for farmers, essentially to make them more efficient and creating more time for them, right? And so you're involved in the spraying, you know, the, the uh, spraying crop protection industry. You know that spraying, is, it's a pretty stressful time. Uh, and time is of the essence. And it's, uh, it's actually, as we talk to farmers across the West, we're definitely getting that feedback from them. So let's talk about your product. What is, your, what is the product? We have a sort of a relatively new product out called Pinpoint. And uh, Pinpoint is a pressure management systems for all brands of uh, high clearance sprayers. And we manage the pressure independent of rate and speed. And uh, we also offer uh, turn compensation and individual nozzle on off. Okay, so turn compensation, what, what does that mean? So uh, as uh, sprayers get bigger and bigger and booms get longer and longer, well, there's still the same obstacles out in the field, bush, uh, rock piles, sloughs, power poles. And as these sprayers are turning, uh, one boom is nearly uh, maybe standing still and the other one is increased in speed. Which what we have there is uh, a over application on the inside and an under application on the outside, which uh, can result in a crop burn and weed escapes on the outside. So with the Capstan uh, blended pulse technology, um, we have, uh, we're able to control that flow across that boom. So if our target rate is five gallons per acre, let's say, as that boom turns, uh, we have five gallons on the inside and five gallons on the outside. So we use blended pulse technology to do that. Okay, so we don't want to give away all your proprietary secrets, but what is, what is blended, like how does that work? What does blended pulse technology mean? What does that do? So what we have is a, a solenoid that pulses on every nozzle body. And as it pulses, we, we control the amount of open time, basically. And so that um, when a sprayer is going five miles an hour at five gallons per acre, our solenoids may only need to be open 25% of the time. But as he speeds up and up and up and up, still doing five gallons per acre, now that solenoid may be at 15 miles an hour, needs to be 80% open. So when you control that amount of open time, we're controlling boom pressure, and you're in control of droplet size as well. So farmers are getting a lot more uh, information these days about the different droplet sizes for the different chemicals that we're spraying, and from systemics to in-crop herbicides to fungicides, and droplet size is a function of pressure. So when you control pressure like we do, uh, we control those droplet sizes. And then when we do um, uh, the turn compensation, well then now we're actually, uh, we're still controlling pressure, but as you turn, we're then controlling the flow as well. So, you know, in, in nozzles and, you know, these sprayer systems, we've moved from where, you know, basically you set your pressure and your, you had your gallons per, you know, gallons per acre and you just went. This is real true getting to precision farming in the spraying area. Yeah, we've taken it, um, um, one of the descriptions I like to use is Grandpa chose uh, fourth gear on the tractor, reached around and did 40 PSI and drove four miles an hour, right? But he did a very consistent application job. But as uh, farms got bigger, we had... Consistently inaccurate, or is that... Or oh, you, yeah. no, he, he actually applied very consistent because nothing changed, right? Speed didn't change much in fourth gear. Pressure didn't change because he set his pump. But then along came uh, in, uh, high clearance sprayers and rate controllers. So now they, uh, they controlled rate as we changed speed, but pressure became an issue or becomes an issue. And so the faster you go, the more pressure you have. And guys will, uh, I think, be able to understand that because when they go fast, and, and it seems as though we all want production these days, so guys are going quite quickly, they have a large rolling fog in behind. And so that's because their pressure is high. That's physics at work. We come along, at our solenoid in, and uh, now we're in control of pressure. Well, and a herbicide applied at the right rate, um, the way the farmer sets it and wants it, is an effective herbicide. That's right, and, and uh, it's not that uh, sprayers without our technology are misapplying, 
but when when we have all the um, we have in Western Canada, it's kind of interesting country because we have all the reasons to go fast, and these prayers can go fast. But we have all the reasons to slow down, and generally they're all in the same quarter mile. So um, and uh, sprayers and rate controllers have a two to one speed range relationship with their tip. When you incorporate what we do on there, you have like a six to one speed range. So it's awesome. So we give guys the ability to go fast when they like and slow down when they don't, so they're not overdriving their sprayers, let's say, through rough spots and around obstacles, and still apply the same rate at a, at a constant even pressure. Well, we had mentioned at the beginning that uh, spraying is a stressful time. And what I'm getting from you is uh, there's a bit of some, there's some stress reduction here a little bit. Totally. Um, you just think about the technologies that have come across, uh, uh, just across the whole farm, but to do with spraying, we, um, we made them steer straight, so that's been a great, great addition, right? And guys are more relaxed at the end of the day. We've got some technology to keep their booms out of the ground and dirt and hills. That's awesome. But we're still speed and pre speed and rate, speed and rate and pressure. And we're still managing that. Now with the capstan system, you're in control of that boom pressure, which means that you're doing a much more consistent job. One less thing to worry about. Well, Garnet, thanks for joining us. Um, we got to talk about our, our Tech Tour contest, though. So the Dalgro Sciences Canada Tech Tour contest is, uh, what we're doing is we're giving away a number of LED light uh, night spray packages. Uh, I'm sure you're hearing from farmers, spraying at night's becoming more and more, at least there's more interest in it, and guys, you know, there's only so many hours in the day, why not use all of them, right? So uh, what we're doing is you can go to gotechtour.ca and you can enter into the contest, and we're giving a number of those packages away. Uh, we're also, so you're not the only company we've talked to, we've talked to a number of them, and uh, people can go to realagriculture.com backslash tech tour to get all the, all the great content interviews we've done across Western Canada, as well as participate in some of our polls. So uh, you'll, you'll make sure in your booth you tell lots of farmers at Ag Days here about the contest. I will absolutely do that. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks a lot to Dialogue Sciences Canada. This has been another edition of the Tech Tour, and we'll talk to you again soon.